A video blog in Gutenberg allows you to display a nice customizable video player that plays your self-hosted video from uh, your WordPress media library. In this video, we will learn how to add the video player in Gutenberg and how to use it. To add a video player, you have few options. You can either click on the plus icon on the top and search for the video. Uh, and this one is basically the player which allows you to embed a self-hosted video and there are other options for youtube and vimo and daily motion etc as well which are the embedded videos from third party sources so for this video we need to add this one and once added it shows you this uh, prompt to uh, allow you to either upload a video from your local folder or from select a video from a media library like this so this way you can add a video there's another way uh, you can add a video is that from an empty paragraph log type forward slash and uh, search for video by typing video and again you will get get all these options and there may be more options depending on the third party plugins you are using which are which may also be adding uh, a video blog yourself so this one is the cool video blog we need to add anyway so again this gives you the same options uh, as previously so you can either select from the video library or upload or, or you can even select uh, insert a video from any external URL as well but there is another way which is uh, the fastest way if you want to upload a video from your local computer rather than uh, adding a block of the video first you can simply drag and drop a video file from your local folder like this to your Gutenberg editor when you drop uh, mo move uh, the video file you see this blue line indication it shows you where where to where it will display the video or pu put the video uh, when you drop it so I'll drop it here and as you can see it behind the scene uploads this file to your WordPress media library and at the same time creates a video blog and use the same file in this particular video blog so these are the few ways you can add a video in the Gutenberg editor now let's look at what options we have for the video blog in the blog toolbar and in the sidebar so first we'll cover the toolbar so the first two options are standard for all the Gutenberg blocks the first one shows you the transform options where this block can be transformed to another block type so for the video block we have these options where you can transform this block file which will basically make it a downloadable file if you want to make this video file downloadable for your audience I'll revert this back. Another option we have is cover. If you transform this video to the cover, so basically what it does is it sets the video to the background of that cover. And you can then create a section having the video background on the cover. Another option in the transform is the group and media and text. For the group, it simply uh, group the video block inside a group block. For the media text, it simply uh, sets the video as the media rather than image, and you can then have the your content on the other side of the media and text block. So these are the transform options we have for the video block. The next option is the mover icon or mover options, which allows you to move this block to another position in your page by clicking the up up arrow or the move down arrow like this and you can even drag and drop it by grabbing from the move toolbar move handler to a position where you need it then we have the alignment options which uh, allows you to align this a uh, block to a left center right and additionally we have these two options which are dependent on the theme you are using if your theme supports these options these will be available if not you need to contact your theme author then we have the option to replace like the image block 
so it simply allows you to replace the video file with another you can either click on the upload and select a file from your local folder or you can click on media library and select a different file and just uh, hit select and it will replace it with the new file you have selected so these are the options available in the toolbar for now now let's have a look uh, what options we have for the video block in the sidebar so we have two panels uh, one is video settings and the other one is advanced which is standard for all the almost all the blocks where you have the option to add a custom CSS class and define a HTML anchor in the video settings we have some standard options for a video player uh, where you can set the autoplay which uh, displays the video on page load or video make or, or, or on when a visitor scroll down to the particular position next we have the loop option the loop option will keep the video playing then we have the muted option the muted option will basically mute the video by default uh, when a user plays it and then we have the playback control option which allows you to show or hide as you can see here show or hide this whole control panel at, at the bottom of the video then we have the option play in line this is uh, a little tricky i was not aware of this to be honest so i searched uh, it on the google and i found this uh, answer from css tricks so what play in line does is uh, if you set this option if you enable this option uh, so it it actually by default when you play a video in the mobile it works like this when you hit the play button it pops up the video in mobile but if you enable the play in line uh, attribute or option uh, it when you hit the play icon on the video in mobile it plays the video in line rather than uh, popping up popping it out to the full screen so this is what this option does next we have preload options where you can either select metadata none or auto what this what this means is if you select none none of the options uh, metadata or the video itself will be loaded on the page load when a user visits the website or web page you are having this video if you select the metadata which is the default option it loads the video information and not the video file itself uh, on the page load so it 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 basically makes uh, the video playback a little a little faster but if you click on auto it will basically auto load the video file and metadata at the same time when a visitor loads your page so this has a benefit of the that the video once when the user will play the video it will take less buffering and will play smoothly but at the same time it affects your page loading time so it may decrease or uh, inversely affect the page loading performance of your web page next we have the poster image which is really nice feature so uh, what it does is uh, if you want to display a poster image for your video rather than the same thing so you can select any file from your media library and set it as a poster like this so it will work like this so these are the options we have in the sidebar and overall for the video blog i hope i have covered everything if you have a question please feel free to ask in the comments thank you take care bye bye